There's one simple change you can make to see an immediate improvement in your ball striking, and nobody's teaching it. Nobody's teaching this gold. And when you do what I'm talking about today, you're gonna see automatic ball striking just like a pro. It doesn't matter what your ability is, if you can master this one concept, make this small change, you will be a great ball striker. We're talking about the concept of weight shift. Now, so many golfers are taught from birth practically that they need to work on shifting their weight in the golf swing into their trail side for power. But this creates a huge problem, and that's why I say so many golfers have this issue. Contact is compromised when you shift your weight. Just check this out right here. As I start making a weight shift, see my hips moving a little bit here? I'm moving more weight into this leg. My body starts swaying. And this is why you have a hard time striking your irons. No matter how much you shift, even a little shift off the ball will result in inconsistency for you. So whether it's one inch or five inches off the ball, your contact point moves in the direction of the shift. So check this out. I'm gonna swing without a shift first. Keep my lead arm straight, my weight centered. There's my contact point. There's my contact point. Number one fundamental in golf. You've got to master that. If you don't master that, you are not going to play golf at a high level. So when I start shifting, watch what happens to this contact point. I'm sorry, ground. I'm sorry, club. Shift. There's my contact point. Shift. There's my contact point. Shift. There's my contact point. There's no consistency with where the club comes into the ground. In fact, if I shift and I stay back, I'm always gonna hit behind the ball. Now, this is a comforting thing for one reason, because it gives us certainty in a game of craziness. So you think about golf being this really inconsistent game that only a few people can play well. That's not true. You can hit the ball really well right now when you eliminate weight shift from your game. Shifting, is gonna to lead to destruction. But the one thing that you need to play great golf is eliminate the shift and replace it with rotating, pivoting. So we're gonna focus on our weight staying forward. When I keep my weight forward, just staying centered like this, there's my contact point, always. And then when I try and do this in the swing, there is a really good chance of me taking ball first and a divot after. And there wasn't a whole lot of thinking in that, wasn't there? It's was pretty simple. Golf gets far too hard when we try and do all this shifting and lifting. And the shift, I don't know where it came from, but this idea of shifting, it feels powerful, right? I feel like I'm loading up on my right side. Yeah, I feel powerful, but this creates a lot of issues. So we're gonna talk about some of the issues with shifting weight. The first issue is one, contact. I just told you about that. The second issue is it's not body friendly and it robs you of crucial power. So the power that you could have in the golf swing, you'll get that by keeping the weight forward. And we're gonna talk about that in a bit, but as I shift into this side, it keeps my right leg locked. And when this leg stays flexed, the longer it stays flexed, oh my goodness, these hips, these hips don't lie. Shakira said that, they don't lie. They're not turning. So I start doing this little sway dance this leg locks, my hips don't turn. I can't swing back far. I'm kind of limited to this all arm swing. So I see this all the time. Most golfers will break their arms down and then they'll chop into the ball. So that's like almost every golfer I see has an issue with either swaying, they're not getting enough turn, their arms are breaking down, you're not getting enough power, you name it. It's all coming back to this. You start with a shift and it's going to end in pain. So since my body's restricted here, you know, think a la X Factor, keeping everything really restricted. This lower half is locked against a upper half. Now my lower back gets stressed, my knee gets stressed, and my hips aren't turning. So you're looking at creating potential back surgery down the road, if you haven't already. Here, this is knee surgery, hip surgery, back surgery. It's almost guaranteed to happen because I teach golfers who are like 75 all the time. They say, Tom, I had surgery in my knee, I had surgery in my back, I had surgery in my hip, but the second they learn to get the weight forward, it changes, watch this, weight forward swing. My body is freed up to make this motion. My body is allowed to turn. The beauty of weight forward, aside from contact being amazing, that feels great. If I think about my front side, just being a post and everything rotates around it, 
It's like a peg in the ground. It doesn't, it doesn't move. Boom, my hips can turn around the front side. So that's a bigger hip turn. That means more power without working. Yeah, and then no sway. So there's no restriction. I don't want you to feel like you're all bound up. I mean, that's, that's kind of a weird way to put it, bound up. But the whole idea is, instead of being bound or restricted, free, free yourself from golfing anxiety. Just keep the weight forward, swing. And I love this. I love teaching this part because this will get you rocketing the ball like you wouldn't believe. And it works with all the clubs in the bag, driver two. You just want to focus on staying centered. Look at my head. My head, you could drop a pin on my head. It should stay in the same place throughout the swing. That enables me to hit ball first, take a divot every single time. And this is what you need to master. In fact, I got a free mini course, go.segudo.golf. It shows you the three keys you need to be a great ball striker. And there's so many great drills that come along with that. So go check it out in the link in the description below. It's gonna help you play the best golf of your life. Moving forward with this weight, I know it sounds like a shock to most of you because your whole life you've been told that we have to shift back and we gotta shift through. So what do we do now? What do we do now that the weight's forward? Oh, Tom, well, you're gonna hit the ball low, you're gonna hit the ball shorter, and you're gonna hit down too much. Well, these divots aren't that deep. They're normal divots. They're nice bacon strips. They're not pork chops. And another thing that happens with this weight, it's already set forward. I don't have to think about my downswing. The hips, look at them, they're like they're firing, like on their own, crack. It is downright highway robbery. You feel like you're in that heist van and you're getting away with all the goods and there's no cops. Like you did it flawlessly. I went through all the lasers of shifting weight and I hit all the lasers and I got screwed. I just can't, I can't make a good swing when I shift. I, I have to time. I hate having the time because I don't have the time to time. Neither do you. Neither do you, you don't have time to time. When we golf, we go out to have fun and we got our lives here. We got things we do with our life. Like I like to play guitar. I don't have time to time. There's just no time. There's time for that. I make time for that when I go to the golf course. So Segudo Golfer shifting is dead. You're gonna get more power, more consistency, more fun by just thinking about a front post of golf swing. You do that, you're gonna love, you're gonna love it. Like the guy in men's warehouse, you're gonna like the way you swing. I guarantee it. Like that's the whole thing. Life is too short to play bad golf. So I'll see you in the next episode. Y'all have an awesome week.